This tutorial shows how to use the tConvertType component in Talent Open Studio to help with data type conversions. This job convert test has a problem. When I run the job, the Excel file being mapped to the other Excel file generates errors. This is despite the fact that they have very similar schemas. The schemas vary on two points, that there are some fields in the source schema that are character and string that are being mapped to in the target field, string and long, respectively. Now, the Excel file employees Excel is using one type of metadata Notice the character for employee type and salary for string type. String type. The employee Excel type, this is the target being used for T output Excel one, has a string and is long. And the problem comes in with the fact that these are all Java types and they can't easily be converted to each other without some extra prompting. Drag a T convert type onto the canvas and connect it to the source and also to the map. The T convert type has some handy defaults. We can do an auto cast. And I'll also set empties to null before converting. An adjustment needs to be made to the map. It's now picking up row 2 rather than row 1. And I also need to define the schema. I'm going to use the auto map. It's already set up here with row 1, so I'll clear these out and do an auto map. Uh, row 1 cell needs to go to. Okay, so now in convert type, which is now the source of the map, I'm ma now mapping a long to a long and a string to a string as before. And now running the map. Running the map results in two rows being written to the database uh, to the output Excel file. One of the rows has a dash in it, indicating that it's a non-value, but for presentation purposes, there's a dash displaying it. So another advantage to using convert type is to capture rejects. And the way you would do this is you can take a file to spool off to this output delimited, and this will be my rejects. and I'll run it again. Now you can always use an expression within the map. Uh, some of the Java utilities, you'll do something like a new long, which creates a long object, and you'll pass in a string to that. So there's always the opportunity to, on a field-by-field -field basis within the T-map without this extra component. Uh, you can also add an expression to a filter to get rejects. Uh, this is a little more convenient, particularly if you had a lot of numeric fields that needed some implicit conversion. Because typically on the source, you want to be maybe a little looser with the data, particularly with spreadsheets where people edit them manually. I uh, don't want to reject everything right away, but rather you want to bring more into your system and your, your data. Okay, so this is run, and, and you see that all the rows are accounted for now. Oh, 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 oh,